so back with another video today i have two laptops for you well one of them is m1 one of them is m3 i will let you guess can you even guess what's the difference between them m3 basically goes for a lot of machines which i saw these days are with the black version i'm not a fan of the black color of m3 that looks like lenovo that does not look like macbook and then is there is a space gray version so i like this more even than this one though i have another laptop basically another two laptops so this is the i9 version that is similar to this color and then i have the macbook air 2014 version so i would say definitely this color is really good the silver is really amazing definitely there is no doubt about that but the space gray is even better i would definitely go for not not go for the black model that's not my thing but of course depends on the choice of you know the people so except that let's look at the difference so this is m3 this is m1 both are pro models both are 14.2 inch diagonal so this one comes with 16 gb unified ram this comes with 18 gb unified ram both are 512 gb of course the number of cores are different this contains m3 contains more core more cpu cores more gp cores but i would say the performance is not as different you will not feel much difference unless you are doing a lot of machine learning tasks that use a lot of gpus except that you will not feel any difference with that so there is not much difference as you can as you can see here you cannot feel much difference so basically it's almost identical i would say the fan location the everything else is pretty same so i would say the difference contains within within these two cases and then here you have the same max 3 on both so m1 and m3 both have same two usb ports on each side and along with the audio jack and let's let's look at the other side so here also you can see the both have hdmi port that does not come with other models usb c port you have and then the the card slot so i would say the good thing that apple added is the hdmi and card slot and the other good thing that is there is that you can charge both of these and as well as the M2 that I do not have with also USB. So MagSafe plus USB chargers. So you are not out of ports. You have a lot of ports. So let's look into another details. Like for example, the sound and other differences. Okay, let's look first at the M3 with the full sound. Now let's look at the one with the full volume. So I would say in both of this, there is not much difference. And based on the screen, I would say the screen brightness of those of these both laps are almost same. There you can see the yellowish because here is this app called as Flux, Flux installed. So except that there is no difference between, you know, both of the screens or the sound or even the keyboard quality, they both are same. The most of the track pads are really, really, you know, same and good. There is no difference between them. So what I would say is if you're not so much heavy user, heavy user, I mean, like you don't use any GPU intensive task, then I would definitely ask you or recommend you to go for the m1 model any color you want at least 16 gb m pro model not the uh, macbook airs i'm not much fan of airs so definitely go for the m1 pro instead of m3 because this will cost you new 2500 right now this will cost you used because you cannot find new so this will cost you 1200 1000 to, to 1400 used in a good condition with battery cycle around 40 40 between 40 to 60 of course the new comes with one battery cycle as i checked here so instead of going for 18 gb to uh, 512 gb go for 16 gb 512 gb and you will be much more happy and these both machines can last for at least 
eight years without any issue, I would say. And why I'm saying that is because I have another MacBook that is the legendary MacBook Air 2014 model. And now in 2014 it's usable for surfing, for document editing and so on because this is only 4 GB. So you cannot compare this with, you know, anything else. Of course, if you are more on budget, I would recommend you to go for MacBook i9 9th generation 32 GB RAM and 1 terabyte of SSD. And this is even slimmer than that, but it does not come with the HDMI port as well it is, does not come with the MagSafe as well as no card slot. But this machine I'm using for four and a half years and it can go for more five years without any issue. This you can easily get in thousands used. Of course, the battery is not as good as M1 or M3 version or M2 even, but still it's usable, it's good. I would say it's pretty amazing if you want to use, but still my recommendation will be pay a bit more and go for the M3 version. Now, if you have any question related to any of these laptops or any of the video which you have, which I have on the channel, please do not forget to ask in the comments. It's always open. And uh, if you have any questions, ask there, please subscribe the channel. Well, that helps me a lot. And uh, it would be amazing if you can like the video or share the video or share the comparison. Or if you want to ask anything else that I did not cover, of course, I can miss many things. So please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.